Hello, my name is John Marles. I'm from Megawatt Power Supplies. Thought I'd run a little demonstration of how to run 4S712s in parallel for 200 amps and 14 volts. A lot of people think that it only put out the 50 amps at 12 volts, but it's rated all the way to 14 volts. Uh, we have it set up here, ready to run a test. I've got uh, number eight wires on it, all run in parallel. I have these uh, nice little offset connectors that I've hooked to it to get the number eights in there easily. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. Uh, another way is over here, more of the lower budget method. Use the uh, these little uh, eyelet ring terminal connectors. Uh, these say number 10 on them, but you can pull them open a little bit, get a number 8 in there. And in fact, you can run the power supply on two number 10s, as long as you don't go over 3 feet. Uh, once you start getting over 3 feet, even at 3 feet, you have some bit of a voltage drop. It's also possible to run it on a, a couple of number 12s, but you're going to get a pretty good voltage drop. Uh, another thing that I've seen people do, and I've done before, is to just use two uh, number 12 wires uh, here we go sorry camera two number 12 wires off the positive uh, run in tandem and then uh, two number 12 blacks run off the negative that's basically just if you're trying to hook a single power supply up that'll carry 50 amps and the two of them together that uh, you can run it three feet easily without any voltage drop to speak of. Of course, everything has a small voltage drop, but uh, two number 12s is the poor man's method. That works good. This is a lot cleaner. Uh, they all terminate together into these uh, two watt wire splicer. Um, you can do it a million different ways. You can you can solder it or split bolt it or whatever you want to do. I've got them turned up now just over 14 volts. Uh, they will adjust to a little over 14 volts uh, with no load but under full load they'll drop down to their rated voltage of around 14 volts. Uh, what I have on it is uh, a, a number 16 9 chrome wire in 5 gallons of water because it's going to boil it in a matter of a few minutes uh, once we hook up the 200 amp load uh, I have a digital i get this on as you can see it I got a digital uh, amp meter trying to zero it out well it's sitting at point 0.2 let's uh, zero it out and let's hook up a 200 amp load Can hear the water boiling well boiling around the electrode see we dropped uh, only about a tenth of a volt while pulling 202 amps which is pretty darn good for the power supply itself and also the wiring most of these switching power supplies you hook them up to full load and then they're gonna drop almost a whole volt not good. Uh, these run super clean too, even in, under a parallel hookup like this. And you'd have to run dual circuits. Um, I mean, as far as the AC input, you're going to have to have a couple of 120 volt circuits coming in because uh, you're talking about 28, 30 amps that it's going to be pulling uh, off the system. But, uh, you know, uh, they haven't been running super long time, but. As you can see, it just it holds pretty steady around 200 amps. As the wire gets hotter and the water gets hotter, the load starts to reduce slightly, which is what you're seeing. Why it's dropping over here? It's probably going to end up burning the wire in half. The nichrome wire will probably melt in a few mi minutes here. But at any rate, it holds voltage really stable. Sorry for my cardboard box setup, but I had to take these over to my boat shop to do this test to get out of everybody's way. Anyway, it's interesting. Now, the fans are uh, actually pretty quiet, and it's kind of cool because 
you got four quiet fans running rather than one super high RPM fan like in the server power supplies. And also if, uh, if something ever were to go wrong, you can pull one of these units off and just uh, run a linear amp with a little less uh, input power and uh, drop your RF output and drop the load and that way you could run your amp say on 150 amps if you only had three of these units running while you were getting another one or fixing it or whatever if that were to happen which is not too likely but you never know these can be hooked up and you can get eight of them, ten of them, as many as you want can be run in parallel no problem a lot of people run two of them get a hundred amps for a standard linear I can see my nichrome wire slowly deteriorating but we're still holding the 14.4 volts anyway that's uh, pretty much my little demonstration don't want to bore you too much I'm sure you guys that know all about power supplies this is a uh, old hat for you but uh, maybe some of the new guys might be able to use some of this information especially wire sizing and distance uh, you can uh, really control voltage drop by correctly hooking it up well, I can see here we're getting smoke off of the uh, battery jumper cables the number four so we probably have to disconnect now <laughs> anyway thanks for watching the demonstration this is John Marles from Megawatt Power Supplies